One, two, three. Right. And this is going to be slotted on the end. And then our steel gets pushed against that and then bolted, that gets bolted into our steel. So there we've got our, got our five bolts in that go right through. Wednesday, Alex, yeah? Wednesday. Wednesday at 10 to 9, left the house at half seven. But we're uh, running around picking stuff up, forgetting stuff, going back to pick stuff up back up. <laughs> um, what did we go? We went for cement and dye, which we got. Got halfway back to the job and remembered we needed pad stones, so I checked the drawings and he specified 250 by 100 by 150. So we were okay to use a um, concrete lintel, so we cut that into four. There's our pad stones, 150 deep, but, uh, reinforced as well. Um, there's all our tools, we've got some 8 before sheets to put down on the slab to protect it while we put the trestles on. Uh, as you saw yesterday, the steels are here and all the bolts. So the robbies have been not nipped back off again, so we need to get, get cracking now, we need to get the steels around first. So we've got a bit of remodelling to do when, when sizes are decided. I think that's getting reduced and that's getting knocked down, but we'll see. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need to get that crap out of the way, which we couldn't use up yesterday. Get the steels in the hole. Actually, the steels are going to sit on the wall because of that the, that long. Um, and get the trestles up, start knocking out of this lot. So um, yeah, we'll get back to you in a bit. Get this steel. These are actually quite um, quite all right after the ones we did at Bengal. Not too bad at all. Um, let's see. Can you still grab it if I put the camera on there? Yeah. Give it a go. Ready. We'll back up a little bit as well so you can. I don't need to do. I don't need to lift it while you're swinging around. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Sorry for any turbulence. Hang on. Let's do it. So is it going on top of the steel or next to it? On top of it. Just right on top. Get a bit of lift there. Don't lift there, you've got, to, you've got to lift the top of the web, otherwise you won't get your fingers out. That's it, you've got to lift from the top. Okay, okay, down. There we go. Right, trestle next. Thank you. 
There we have it. Normal place for steel, where we're putting the steel. So there's the ends of the joists, which are currently propped, but are going to be chopped off. Then this is going to be slotted on the end. And then our steel gets pushed against that and then bolted, that gets bolted into our steel. So we're working around Robbie and Robbie on this one. So once they've got the timber in place, we can fit the lintel. So um, we've done our bit now. So we're going to leave it for them two to get, get the joist cut off, get that put into place and then we'll come back after dinner and get the steel uh, fixed in place. So there's still plenty to do. The time is, but it's after one now. No, half twelve. Not so bad. I'll leave it on time, that's while these lads are working on it. And we'll go off for our dinner. See you in a bit. So we'll just take it up and hook it on. Yeah, I see how I do, yeah. Okay. You go, you just go to that corner, Rob, I'll stay this corner. One, two, three. Right. Right, uh, can you jump down and pass them blocks? Yep. That fits like a glove, that. Nice. Don't let go of it, Alex, because it'll just twitch us to fall off. Yeah. Yeah. It's slightly out of plumb, yeah. so if the top goes in that. Then set a minute. The whole steel looks like it wasn't coming. Not bad, that. that image is down a little bit there. Yeah, you don't want to be dropping it, do you? No. But you're following the joist, so... Yeah, you can't yeah, follow the right, Yeah. Be a thin piece in here, Al. We'll cut them out of the blocks. Yeah. Right. That won't take long. Especially doing it in block. Where's so, that? Well, Where's we only put a steel in. We put a bed on top and just wind it up with, a, with an acro. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, we can't you do, that to do that yeah. Where's the... Ah. I think you knew it was going to be split or something above in here anyway because you said it wasn't worth it, the cost. So. The timber's so, squashing in it. Do you want to swap that timber for put these two bricks? Than that. That. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good man. Right, we need bolts in now. Yeah. So now we bolt it into place, and then we can take the prop, they props out, can't we? And we can put, put an acro under there then, just on the one under the steel. Yeah. Once you've bolted it, then we'll acro it, yeah. and I can get it packed up yeah. then tomorrow. I'll drill some holes then, yeah. So are these coming in now? Um, is that many holes? They must just give us a few to choose from. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine holes. They did mark that side with a circle. I know. 
Well, we still have to check out. that. I think we just alternate them. Well, you, how many have you got? Four. We've got five. And you've got four. We've got four. Yeah. Okay, so there should be five holes. Yes. And there's nine holes. Yeah. And they're all twelve mil. I think the de them ones, them ones are for us. So that that will be yours. Yeah, I've got one. That one be yours. Yeah, get that one. That one. Yeah, I can get that one. And that one. Which one? Point at that hole out. This That's, one. That one, yeah. Mm, tight. That's a job. So the steel's in temporarily. Now it's going to be drilled and bolted, and then we can prop it on the acros and take these props out and get it built up. Probably tomorrow. <laughs> oh yes. Friday the 12th of November, 10 to 8. Sorry, 10 to 9. Fat boy slim night, which can't wait for. We're going to early today because we've got a lot to do, but we've just been sat in the van for the last hour. It absolutely poured down. As you can see, everything's absolutely soaked, which isn't good, but um, we're on with this anyway. Get this, get these steels and them bolted up and everything. So, um, yeah, we'll crack on with that. I think while I'm up there packed, finishing the patching on the inside, what are you going to do, Alex? Tidy up, get rid of the bricks, move the bricks. Yeah. Let these let these blocks go off, uh, dry a bit because they're absolutely. I forgot to cover them last night. And that block where it wants a good scrape. Yeah. Obviously, that was pointed in the dark. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, very wet when it was pointed too. Yeah. Everything's soaking wet. Don't you just love winter? So yeah, we'll um, we'll get back to you in a bit when we're back up there. Right, sometimes when you're cracking on because the weather's threatening and everything's wet and you're just getting on with it, you forget to film. So I've just forgot to film p p p picking the steel up. The steel sat where Alex's foot is on a block each side, so we just did it straight up and in. I, I wish I could have filmed that because we've struggled on all the others and that just went in dead easy, didn't it? Yeah. They are decent sized steel though. So as you can see, yeah, Alex, you show them. Show them at the top where I've patched it up at the top on the inside. So, since this time we can't um, wind it all the way up to the top and give it a bed, we have to leave a bit of a gap. So what Dad's done is, one second, he's uh, put some cut, cut some blocks down with the grinder and packed them in and pointed them all up nice. So, I ain't going anywhere, it's nice and packed up. Just got to point up the last bits where the acros were and then... Just show them the bolt holes. Yeah. And then we've um, the Robbie Robbie drilled the holes for us. Yeah, the, 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 it's it's already got the um, wall plate bolted into the web. That's what the four bolts are. Yeah. Because it's because that's bolted into the web, then we can't get our bolts on the other side now. So we have to get longer threaded bar, so we can bolt it through through the steel and through the wall plate. So it's going to be so that that's basically going to have nine bolts for it. Yeah. And then we have, the, we have the nuts and the washers, so we space it with the actual nuts. Yeah. So it's a, ma it's a matter of getting it into position now, leveling it all up, putting the bolts and everything through, insulating between the beams, and then building up underneath it. Prop it solid first. Mm -hmm. It's it's an awkward way of doing it, but it's going to look smart when it's done. And, it's if, really it. and if you look there, some of the holes didn't line up, so Robbie had to get the uh, metal bit and punch another hole through. Yeah, because it, it, it lined directly up with the joist. Yeah. So Long story short, it's not going anywhere once we've got these bolts through. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's get it up into position now. Let's get it packed, yeah. Mm. Right, today's speed bump. 
under the speed bump. Uh, yeah, the steel's too big, so our pad stone is going here. So the steel's going to go over by 100 mil, but the pad stone's going to take the weight of it. It's going to be 150 minimum. The only reason it's 150 minimum is because we've got to get this in. I think I've shown you this. This is the wall plate, so that's going to run right across. So that's got to go in there with the outside skinnies. Our pad stone goes in there. Obviously a bit higher. So, and then the wall comes down there. That's coming out to there. So now we need to get this bedded in, packed up. This steel now is solid. We've got it leveled up with the other st steel inside, lined up, all the holes are lined up. Well, I'll come back to that in a minute. So it's, as you can see, we've packed it in. So it's basically, we've got to go cut all these pieces and pack, get it all pointed up, packed up. But um, as we said, two of the holes didn't line up. So Robbie has uh, re-drilled them, but we haven't done this steel. So two of these can't be put in. I think it's that one and that one. We can put those three in for now, but we're going to have to get a drill and come back and drill these out. Which is uh, one of those, the old saying, pain in the arse, but it's not stopping us today. I think we're coming back Sunday just to have a final tidy up and everything. Probably finish that wall off, because we're not on that wall yet. So, go and have a brew now, and then start uh, cutting the blocks for in here. And piece for in here, get all this built in. Leave that pocket out for the Robbies. So yeah, that's it. Come back to you in a minute, after brew. Still slow going on the conservatory job. We've just managed to get all the bolts in. Redrilled that one. Redrilled that one. <coughs> the plough was getting all these in because you've got to thread them through. Through, and you've got to get bolts on the inside of each. You have to get bolts on each side of the steel to clamp it. So we have to come through this timber. Through that timber there. Uh, there's one. Through that timber, which is drilled tight, so we have to thread the bars through. Couldn't just push them through. Uh, we got a couple wrong, so we must have been on that about two hours just to get that. So it's all together now. Pad stones now, patching at the top, and then we can board it up because obviously we've got a big hole now, and we're going to stuff the gap between with insulation. Uh, we've run out of insulation, we've got plenty more at the house we can bring back. So that's it, let's get this patched up. Right, after a long slog, we're done. Conservatory is done. Oh no, it's not. I've <laughs> got the internal walls finished yet. But anyway, steels are done. There's our 150 seating. The 
it overhangs by a hundred. But um, like I say, that's where that's going in. So we can't we can't do anything with that until that's gone in. Um, I mean, it, if the building inspector doesn't like this overhang, we can always come and cut that off. But um, I can't see that being a problem. This is self-support. We didn't even need to prop this. That renders that hard. The blocks haven't budged. Absolutely solid. So there we've got all our, got our five bolts in that go right through. And it's also bolted four times through the other steel, so that that wall plate on the inside has got nine bolts going through it, so it's going nowhere. This is all absolutely solid. Um, you'll notice it's sat on the... There's no acros supporting it, and it's sat on... The pads are wet, but this is... It's sat on these at the moment. These are holding it up. So these will be coming out when the wall comes out in line with that pad. So that's coming out. <clears throat> Same there. Cut down there and that's coming out. It's a nice big opening. And then the ceiling, as you can see, it's a, the ceiling will go straight through with no drop down where you usually have the beam. A hell of a lot of extra work in that. But um, that's what the customer wanted. Obviously it's cost them more because it's got probably double the work. But um, I think once it's done it's worth it. Yeah, a lot of work going into that. Robbie and Robbie are here for a good day as well, doing all that. So there you have it. We've got to get it boarded up now, so that's what I'm just showing you now. So we'll leave you in a bit. Well, it's dark again. It's Late quarter to five. It's supposed to be in Liverpool at half past six. So that's it. The conservatory is finished. The steels are done. Brickwork's finished. There's a tiny bit of pointing to on that corner. And that half to fix that I freaking pulled off with the I seen yesterday. It's kind of rushing the dark. But anyway, there you go. That's a quick one, so stick with us. I'm going to come back to you straight away when we're back here on Sunday when we're doing that wall there. And then um, we'll sort that out and then we'll do a final walk around and show you everything. Show you inside as well when we put the insulation. So catch you in a minute. A hell of a lot of, a hell of, a lot of it. 